The Fokker DR1 triplane is without doubt one of the most widely recognised World War I aircraft. This New Zealand built aircraft was constructed in the early 1980s and has been seen at many air shows since, including Classic Fighters 2001. Since then, the aircraft has undergone a radical change in appearance and now sports the authentic colour scheme of one of Manfred von Richthofen's reserve aircraft. In this aircraft, the Red Baron scored three of his total of 80 victories against Allied pilots. The 12 months prior to this year's show also saw an amazing growth in the number of triplanes based at Ormaka. The original aircraft was joined by a further four, which were imported from the USA during 2002. Much time and effort was spent ensuring that all five aircraft were in an airworthy condition for the air show. The work included a strip down to assess their condition and eventually to all five being given an authentic colour scheme. Each aircraft was painted in the original streaky factory finish and then individual German pilot markings were added, just as they would have been on the Western Front during early 1918. An interesting feature of the individual markings is that of the German national emblem used on the aircraft. Many pilots such as von Richthofen use the factory finished Prussian Eisenkreuz or Iron Cross, whereas other pilots later changed these markings to the Balkenkreuz or Balkan Cross. Robert Green's personal markings were two large red bands around the fuselage. The son of a Bavarian policeman, Green joined the Imperial German Air Service in August 1915 and ended the war with a total of 28 victories. Rising to the rank of General Feldmarschall during the Second World War, he committed suicide in May 1945 after Germany's defeat. At the time of his death, he was the acting commander of the Luftwaffe. Hans Kirstein flew this aircraft from March to May 1918, having transferred to the air service in May 1917. The diagonal stripes on the upper wing surface were an attempt to put Allied pilots off their aim, and he was known to refer to his aircraft as the optical illusion. By June 1918, he had scored 27 victories and had become commanding officer of Yasta 6. This was short lived, however, as he was killed in July 1918 in a flying accident. Like von Richthofen, Hans Müller initially served in the German Army, but transferred to the Air Service in 1916. Initially flying two-seat aircraft, he transferred to single-seat fighters toward the end of 1917 and began to accumulate his final tally of 12 victories. In March 1918, he was shot down over no man's land but managed to make it back to the German lines after forced landing his aircraft. With a final score of four, Friedrich Kempf never reached the magical five victories to claim ace status. However, the markings of his aircraft were somewhat unusual, and this has served to make his personal aircraft relatively well known. The upper wing surface bears his surname, while the middle wing bears a legend which roughly translated means, do you remember me? This taunt was designed to lure Allied pilots into a dogfight. 